Welcome to another episode of Fantastic Beast and how to abuse them. Today we go over the new character, Warthog the Soul Starve, who decided to join the world of mutual starvation, also known as Soviet Russia. Compared to basic character Wilson, Warthog has higher health and hunger but lower sanity. However, being monster himself, Warthog is less affected by sight of horror such as creatures, plants, and structures that induce insanity. Since he is soul-starved, he takes less delight in consuming regular meals, and all hunger, sanity, and health benefits of food are reduced by half. This also means any negative aspect of certain dishes are reduced as well. Therefore, any food considered poisonous has less effect on this creature. Now let's talk about truly unique trait of Wartox, the way he handles the souls. Souls are extracted from various mobs who have their lives taken in Wartox's vicinity as far as about 6 tiles, or in his pocket. The exceptions include meat bulb, eye plant, clockworks, nightmare creatures, their ruined counterparts, fish, and shadow pieces. Boss creatures provide bigger reward by dropping 7 to 8 souls at a time, so high risk, high return. So what exactly are these souls for? First, Wartox can eat it at cost of small sanity, filling his stomach as much as a cooked leafy meat would do to other characters. Second, each soul allows Wartox to jump between space, as far as his eyes can see. This means Mogul will become especially useful in the dark. Not only this allows crossing the oceans and ravines, it may prove quite useful as kiting technique since even AoE attacks cannot leave a scratch on Wartox during his interdimensional travel. Third, the soul's Wartox drop can heal not only himself, but all players within three tiles. However, you must note that each character in screen will reduce the amount of healing by one. Any number beyond seven characters will cause a soul to heal only 13 HP. But don't worry, it's not like you have that many friends. At least I don't. This penalty will still occur even when players nearby are in full condition. So in such case, better heal yourself somewhere far from your friends. It would be wise to manage your inventory proper, because if you try to hold more than 20 souls, you will become overcharged and lose half of them to the world, along with your sanity. If there's no room in your pocket, the soul will vanish immediately. And here are extra facts involving war talks. Being colored character like Weber, Wartox is hated by any racist neutral mobs like pigs, bunnies, and catcoon. Although rather unconventional source, other characters drop souls as well besides this tin can apparently. Interestingly, Weber, a fusion between monster and human, holds two souls instead of one. Souls can also be collected from mobs caught using rabbit trap, perhaps acting as a soul bank that can last for a few days. Houndius Shudicus is also considered a mob, so let's smash this expensive turret for that precious soul. Any souls Wartox does not collect vanish after a few seconds, but will still heal any players nearby in the process. This includes when souls are dropped by Wartox due to lack of inventory space, overcharge, or death. So if any of you are in bad shape and there's a Wartox nearby, you know what to do. And now we end this chapter for Fantastic Beast and how to abuse them. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, and subscribe shall support my research greatly, and joining my Discord server will allow you to take closer look at my works. With that said, farewell and cheers.